Hey guys, welcome to Abstract Canvases, where we will uh, make an abstract canvas from your kit that we gave you. Um, now, if this is your first time seeing one of our craft programs, we give these uh, kits out a couple times a month with different cool craft programs to do that you could follow along with online. So this is our abstract, uh, abstract canvas kit. Um, it came with a canvas, a brush, paints right here, a roll of tape and of course the directions which is very handy um so gather that together along with something to put your um canvas on to paint so you like newspaper or like brown paper like i have um let's see a cup for water which i have right here some paper towels and some scissors and it's gonna look something like this, kind of like um, like a gradient color, and it has like cool little paint flecks on it, and um, the masking part's gonna look really cool um, when you're all finished with it, so. Okay, so in the directions, I kind of gave you um, like suggestion of like how to, to um, I know this looks complicated, but um, basically step-by-step step how to um, lay out your tape. So we're gonna start with the taping. Let me get my paints out of the way here and my brush. I'm not going to need that right now. Okay. So one. Let's see here. Sometimes it's hard to find where the tape it begins on these new rolls here. Is that it? Well, ah, here we go. Perfect. Okay, so one is kind of like this. It's not quite on the corners, but maybe just like a little below the corners here. And what you're going to do is like, you're going to want to take a little bit of extra because you're going to wrap this around the canvas. See, because it looks a little bit better when your sides of your canvas are, um, are painted as well. So you're going to want to wrap this tape around the side of the canvas. So we're going to lay this out like number one here. And you're, wanna, you're going to want to press um, pretty firmly because what we're wanting to do is not let paint go underneath the tape because we're going to be kind of brushing in this um, kind of motion here. You don't want the, the paint to go underneath the tape. So I'm just going to, no need to cut it. You can just um, rip this portion off and then just wrap it around the side here. You don't want to wrap it all the way around, so it's like kind of going like this. You just kind of want to tuck it back here, so it's wrapped around just that one side. Okay. And you know what? If you get some uh, paint underneath the tape, that's okay, because we have white, and we can kind of touch it up a little later, too. Okay. Let's see. Number two. It's not in the corners, um, but kind of like here to here so and i'm going to try to make it pretty um parallel with the other one here there we go and then i'm going to wrap it around the corner making sure that's all flat and nice Perfect. Okay, so continuing with our directions here. I'm going to do number three, which is about the same distance of one and two. And you know what? You can actually do whatever design you want. You can just um, forego the tape and just do paint. I mean, it's up to you. This is your artwork here. And, um, you know, you have full creative license to make it whatever you'd like it to be. Okay, making sure that we're pressing firmly. I know it might be a little hard to see on camera, but we have our tape here going on. Number four is a little tiny one. Maybe like this. Okay. 
And again, wrapping around the side here. Okay. Number five and six. So it's like we're just kind of going down the row here. Two, three, here. Yeah, next uh, month's craft kits are, um, we are going to be doing a uh, Valentine's Candy Crafts, and I will post pictures of that um, soon. It's going to be a cute little, like, um, like a dachshund, dachshund dog, I don't know how you say that, dachshund dog made out of a sweet tart um, candy and some um, Hershey Kisses. And those are like, they're just adorable. You put little googly eyes on them. I mean, this is just for fun. You know what I mean? That's the Valentine's candy crafts are definitely like indulgent crafting here. There's no art there. This is just, just fun. And then you get to eat the candy later. So, and then we're also going to be doing a, um, it's called Huga. It's, it's spelled like H-Y-G-G-E. It's like that, um, Scandinavian, um, I think it might be Danish, um, a uh, style of like relaxa relaxation. We're going to be um, making kits for that as well. It's going to have like um, like comfy socks and tea and candles, but those are going to um, go out quickly. So if you want to get on our website right now and um, register as soon as this is over um, so you can get one of those kits because we're going to be limiting those kits. Um, Valentine's Craft, not so much, but um, the Huga kits, um, they're going to go pretty quick. Okay. So we did five, four, five, and six. Now we're going to do seven, seven, eight, and nine is going to be the different one. But let's let's go ahead and do seven here. Yeah, I had never heard of um, Huga before. My coworker Emily. Um, brought it up because she's going to be doing the the hookah and talking about like um how it's about like staying connected with others and being cozy at home at the same time so there's going to be like cards that you can like um send to people and stay connected with your friends and family um which is really important now so and that's going to be in february okay two and seven eight eight's kind of like in the corner here so just to just do your best, you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of, just make sure that it's a uh, flush and no paint's gonna get underneath it. Okay, seven, eight, so we did four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine kind of stops a little bit, so you're gonna actually have to take your scissors and um, cut nine a little short. So, Take my scissors here a second. Cut this edge pretty much at a good 90 degree there, if you can. And so there's our nine here. Kind of position it. Kind of like that. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know? I know it's kind of hard to see on camera, but here's, here's our seven, eight, and nine. Okay. And then 10 kind of connects to nine to make a, a triangle there. So we're gonna make 10 parallel to these ones. Um, connecting to the nine. Cool. And here we have it. We have our layout. If you can't see it really on camera with the tape, since it's kind of such a close color to the thing, it's supposed to look like this right here. And um, I know I'm going through this a little quick because um, the uh, 
we have Aboriginal painting for the kids coming up right after here at three o'clock. So I'm just trying to make sure uh, we stay in the time here, but you can actually um, go back and look at this uh, tutorial um, afterwards if you need some a little more help in you know doing this a little slower. So, okay. So we are going to start painting and we're going to paint right over our tape I and mean, just make sure you might want to take a, a last, you know, second just to make sure all your tape is um, nice and secure to the, um, to the canvas there. And what I would do, so it's going to look something like this. I would start out maybe with the, um, put my paints right here with like the greenish blue kind of start up in this corner a little bit now this is a little bit different green than what I did here this is I I was making a test project at home and I, I just had to use my own paints um, before I went and bought some for everybody else um, so it's it's very similar and it's metallic too I don't know if you guys have noticed this this uh, green paint is metallic so it's really cool and just kind of do Nice wide strokes here. And you can actually dip your, um, if it's a little too dry, like feels like it's hard to like brush on, you could dip your paint brush in just a little bit of water. You don't want it too watery where it's like going underneath the, the tape, but you can, you know, get it to kind of um, brush on a little smoother. And you're gonna wanna actually go on the edges too. So that's why we taped the edges. So you can do the edges too. And you can paint right just over that tape. Don't even, don't even think about it um, because if it goes like underneath the tape, we can just touch it up with some of that white. That's no big deal at all. And then on the top here, I think painting is just so relaxing, you know, just like you don't have to make it look like mine. You don't have to make it perfect. You know what I mean? Just kind of enjoy the material, you know, and that metallic look looks so cool. I don't know if you could see that. It's really cool. Okay. So I'm going to do um, maybe a little bit over here. I'm going to do the bottom as well, since we already have our paint dipped in the, the blue color or bluish green, a teal, cerulene. Go ahead and do the bottom portion too. And like I said, if you're new to our craft programs or you're just kind of tuning in, um, we do these a couple times a month. Every month we provide kits with either most or all of the materials that we can provide. Um, and um, it's a lot of fun. People really enjoy these. Um, it's kind of fun looking every month to see what kind of new crafts we come up with. So. And you know, those Valentine candy crafts um, that we're doing in February, um, the ones with like the little Dachshund dog and the, um, we're doing like a little butterfly made out of M&Ms. It's really cute. Um, that would be good to do with like your family. So a lot of people have said to me that they like to do these crafts with their family too. I know some of them are a little advanced, you know what I mean? Like for, for little fingers, sometimes taping and um, like, especially the hot glue gun, you know, they might need a little adult supervision, but you know, this, this could easily be like a family thing. I know there was um, one set of people that said that they were gonna um, do it all together as like a um, kind of like a family painting night. So that would be fun to do with the Valentine candy crafts. I'm, I'm putting um, enough material in the Valentine candy crafts so you can do like a couple of them um, at the same time. So that would be fun. Just don't forget to sign up for that so we can get you a kit. Okay. So we did green here, green here, teal, cerulean. Um, 
And I think we're gonna do, let's do purple next. So let's wash our brushes out in our water here. Boy, that metallic looks really cool. I wish I would have gotten metallic purple too. I'm trying to remember if they even had it. Okay, just wash your brush out really good. And then we're gonna start with the purple. The purple just kind of goes right down the center. And you don't even need to get this like um, completely opaque. You know what I mean? You can have some of the um, canvas kind of like showing through a little bit. That might be a little fun. Like different type of, like almost looking kind of strokey. You know what I mean? Like this, it's kind of brush strokey because I let some of the canvas like show through. And we're gonna be doing that kind of like blending when we get the yellow and the white along here too. Kind of make it a little brush strokey, if you want. Like I said, it's this is art. You can take your artistic license and just go go with it. Definitely. And we're going to want to do the same thing on this one. Now you got this wet, so just be careful when you're like, don't like push this down on the table and be like, ha 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 ha, I'll, I will paint this, you know, side here. No, you're going to want to kind of like hold it above the table so you don't, it's, it's going to get a little tricky here for a second. But we're going to be painting the sides of the canvas too. It gives it a more like professional appearance. Like say if you're not going to frame this probably. Um, I mean, you could frame it, but um, it, it looks more professional if you can, you know, just extend that color around the edge of the canvas. Okay. I'm gonna do it on the other side as well. Just making sure. I'm definitely wearing an old t-shirt today. That's for sure. I had my nice sweater on and I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I thinking? I, I tend, I'm one of those people that tend to get like paint all over them. Like, you know, I, just, I could just look at paint and get it on me. Okay. And you know what, I'm gonna go back over the center because I want it to kind of be darker in the center and kind of like lighter, like almost like, you know, it's kind of like, kind of like a 3D effect, like. Okay, doing some of this kind of opaque -y stuff here. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna clean out my brush and we can start on the yellow. Going for the yellow next. And you can pretty much do these like in, in any order that you want, you know what I mean? Cause we're gonna be blending these. So I'm gonna be actually kind of going into the purple a little bit, kind of creating like this sort of color Kind of like that almost like brownish color. It's kind of like the color theory thing, you know, like what does red and green make? They make brown or gray, you know what I mean? So it's like kind of like um, purple and yellow are opposites on the color wheel. So they make um, gray or, or brown, brownish color when they get mixed together. And you can actually, you know, dip your brush in just a little bit of water if you want to start blending these a little more, not too much water, because you don't want it to be too watery that it goes underneath the um, the canvas, the tape there. Okay, and we're gonna be painting on the side, so kind of like, to kind of visualize this kind of like extending around, and then just paint where it stops there. Kind of on the other side, keeping in mind that all this other stuff is wet. <laughs> and I'm kind of making it, you know, like, oh, that's kind of cool. So we're getting some of this, like, purple stuff um, into the yellow. Just making these kind of long strokes. 
You can even get some purple stuff kind of, I mean yellow into the deep, deep purple there. Okay. Well, now my brush does have some purple on it. So I'm going to clean it out before I do the yellow on the other side. Okay. Cleaned out. And I'm going to start with the yellow on the other side. So I don't know if any of you guys have heard, but we are set to reopen this coming Monday, February 1st. We have been um, closed to the public um, to come inside. Now we've been doing curbside service, but um, we are set to reopen on the 1st. So if you really missed coming inside and browsing, that's the day that we're supposed to be opening if everything you know goes well. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. Um, you know, we, we've been missing people, definitely. And people have been missing coming inside and, you know, being able to use the computers and being able to, um, you know, browse for books. That's like a big, big deal. You know what I mean? It's like, it's hard to come off with the top of your head, like which books you want, you know what I mean? So it's it'll be a very good thing to be open for people to, to come on in. Okay, so I kind of did this one like the other side, just, um, you know, you can put as much or as little of the purple in here as you want. Okay. Now we are going to go for the white, and you don't need too much of this, because what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this blue again and kind of... Make it look like really cool. I love this like minty kind of thing that happens when you kind of mix the blue and the, the white a little bit. And so, and you can add a little bit of water if you want to help the, the process along. And I'm gonna do white on the other side too. Just a little. Now I'm going to wash my brush again. I know it's just like washing brush, washing brush, washing brush, but it's worth it. And it'll look really cool. Okay, so we're going to take some of this blue and we're going to be kind of very gently go into the white with these kind of like long strokes. And because that white is wet, you know what I mean, it kind of blends with it a little bit and we're getting that kind of cool minty color. And don't forget to kind of come up on, see how this side, you need to kind of come up with the, um, the blue on the edges as well. And do it on this side too. A cool minty color. I love mint. I don't know about you, that's a, seems to be like an in color too, you know what I mean? Okay. All right, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And you can add a little water, just a little. You can keep as much as the white you as you want or, or leave some of it. And then remember to go up on the sides of canvas. This is where you can get paint all, like all the can those edges now are all painted. So you're gonna get, you might get a little, uh, little on you. That's okay. We're painting. Okay. Hey, I think we're looking okay. Hope you guys is, are looking good too. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is I know we're all like, raring to see what it looks like um, without the tape on, but you should really let this dry until it's completely dry. It's not going to take that long, but since, you know, I'm on camera, I want to show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to just blow dry this just for a few seconds here, um, just to get it dry enough where I can pull up the tape and just kind of give you a peek of what it's going to look like. So pardon me, I'm going to just start my blow dryer here.
you know what I almost forgot? Is the speckles. So we can't stop without the speckles. I mean, you could not do the speckles. You know, that's fine. That is, that is up to you, your artistic license. But I would probably, what I would do is what I'm going to do now is because I'm in the middle of the library here and I don't want to get stuff all over the place. You can put it in a box, like a cardboard box. Take an old toothbrush if you can, or you can use your brush. That's fine. Um, I kind of have... Um, little bit of a, a tutorial you can use to flick off your fingers kind of like in your instructions or you can just use the toothbrush and go like this this is going to get a little messy that's why you can bypass it if you're not into it that's fine i'm going to take my some of my white load it up on my brush here make sure you have it in a box i've done i've done this the other one i did outside so it's it's going to get all over the place so just be careful and just I'm going to do a little more. See about me getting paint all over the place. It's just the way it goes. Just a little more. Oh, yeah. Okay. That didn't take too long, but it was pretty messy, so. I'm just gonna wipe this off real quick. Luckily, this acrylic, it dries really fast, you know? Okay. See, but it's, it's worth it, because Look how cool this is. It looks like a galaxy, you know? That's so cool. And it's like the difference between, you might want to actually wait on the toothbrush because this is the difference between doing it with like the brush itself and then like the toothbrush, you can really get like all those speckles. So, okay, so I'm going to pull up the tape here, see what we got. I think I'm probably dry enough to Yes, and this is dry. It looks bad, but it's actually pretty dry. So I'm going to pull it up kind of like at a 45 degree angle. Let's do this one next. This is just so satisfying. Just like this, the sound it makes. Okay. I mean, look how cool this gradient is right here. That's just beautiful. Okay. Yeah. See where we're at here in the back. Boy, I put this one really, that one is not coming off. Okay. I must have been like, you know, pushing it down really hard. Okay. Okay, try to do this. Trying to do it as a 45 degree angle as I can. Kind of like when you're painting your house a little bit. Ooh, some of this stuff's a little wet. That's why you should, you at home, who are probably anxiously, <laughs> you know, uh, taking tape off a wet canvas just as like, just as I am, um, should wait till it's for it to dry and definitely wait for it to dry before putting it on your wall. I learned that the hard way with this other one. It was not quite dry and I was like, oh, I just want to see what it looks like on my wall. You know what I mean? I just want to see what it looks like. And it did not go well. Okay. Last one. Okay, so here's what it looks like with all the tape off. 
I'm thinking it's looking pretty cool. Um, I really like this kind of brown color that we've gotten with the purple. I did that more on this one than I did that one. I think it really um, turned out pretty well. You can see how we kind of went under a little bit in some of these places. And you can take the white and just kind of like, um, it's a little wet, but... Just take a little spot of white. No big deal. But I think overall we didn't have, you know, too much go under the tape, so that's good. Okay, let me see if there's anything else. That's it. All right, well, thank you so much, guys. I'm really happy that we could, um, you know, do this together. And, um, oh, the metallic is really cool, too. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, really happy we could do this together. And I'm really um, grateful for you, for you guys enjoying our crafts month after month. And, um, yeah, uh, stay tuned for the next one. Is a Valentine candy crafts. So we're going to be making, like, Valentine little duction dogs with, like, sweet tarts. And then, like, um, butterflies with M&Ms. And um, the Huga, yeah, Huga craft as well. So get signed up for those on our calendar. They're both in February on Tuesdays. Um, I think it's like the 11th. I'm not sure. I, I can't, don't, don't quote me on the date, but um, uh, thank you so much guys. And I hope you enjoyed this canvas program.